everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys today we're going to customize another rainbow high doll and you know the idea of this makeover comes actually from your comments there was a comment under my last rainbow high repaint video where i was making a kitsune doll it was by the way super cute check it out if you missed that video the kitsune with her outfit was really super cute but anyway <laughs> there was a comment under that video suggesting me to make a collection of dolls like personified weather dolls, different weather conditions like hurricane, storm, sun, rain, whatever, there were different ideas. Many, many, many of you really loved this idea. This comment got, I don't know, around thousand likes probably or something like this. It's really a lot. And also many people commented under it. So I see that many of you really love this idea. And me, myself, I really fell in love with this concept. So here we are quite quickly after I read that comment. I've decided to make, like, start working on this collection of dolls. Actually, I don't know yet. Will it be a collection of dolls or not? Uh, but yes, today I'm going to make a hurricane doll. If you really like this idea, then there will come more of dolls out of this collection. And if you don't like my hurricane doll, then there will be no more personified weather dolls on this channel. So it's up to you guys. But right now I'm really excited about this idea and today we're going to make a hurricane doll. Yeah guys, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel or check it out if you're subscribed because YouTube is uh, like always unsubscribing people and also our doll videos are not on top of their algorithm and seems like the entire doll community really, is really struggling with the views. So guys, if you can help us with your likes, share, subscription, thank you so much. Yeah, and that's it. Let's start working on our hurricane doll. I ah, know another thing I wanted to say. I want to experiment with the rainbow high eyes one more time. If you remember in the past, I really tried making 3D eyes because rainbow high dolls, they have inserted eyes, but they're not 3D. These eyes are like printed on paper under the plastic. And today I want to extend my experiments a little bit and I want to make her eyes completely different. I want to try to paint new eyes on top of already existing eyes. I want to try something completely different because I'm really tired of the stress with the, with the UV resin. Let's try something else today. So this is it guys, let's start working. So this is the doll we will customize today and you know I really like rainbow high dolls because they look really cute and fun and they always have lots of details. Like here for example I really like the fabric her jacket is made of, I would really love to buy more of this fabric for myself. Then I think I will keep her original hair because it's a very pretty blend and it will really fit the new look. Plus I really want to see what you can do with rainbow high hair because they always feel quite crispy when you get a new doll out of the box. So let's see later. And so now let's undress her, warm her head up with a hair dryer to be able to disconnect the head from the body and also to pop the eyes out of the sockets. And after this I will remove her makeup with pure acetone.
Okay, the makeup is gone. Here you can see the little bit of pink staining left around her eyes. But I'm planning to give her quite dark eye makeup. So I hope all this pink will be covered up. So now I can spray the face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I can start working on her new face. And I told you already I want to try kind of different method of making eyes this time. I want to draw the new eyes on top of the existing ones. I've never tried it before on Rainbow High dolls. So let's try and I hope it will give me a little bit more cartoonish result. Because those 3D eyes that I've made they can be a little bit too much, too like too realistic for this cartoonish face sculpt. So let's see where we will end up today. Well, and for now I begin the makeover with applying shadows, highlights and blush, like in most of my makeovers. her to look a little bit dark and stormy so I will give her kind of darker eye makeup today dark lips and then on this dark face will be a pair of super bright blue eyes so this is the plan And her eyes I want to look actually like a hurricane if you look at it from above, like a blue and white vortex where the pupils will play the role of an eye of a hurricane.
Okay, the face looks beautiful. I'm pretty much in love with it. So dark and with these blue eyes, really beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So now let's also blush the body before I start working on her dress because the dress will be extremely difficult to take off after I put everything together. So I better blush her body before I start working on the dress because it will be literally impossible to remove. Good, the face and the body are finished and we are ready for the next step. Let's make a hurricane dress. And this dress is supposed to have like a heart tube shaped base. And I think I will use this plastic bottle for it. Why not? The shape and the size are absolutely perfect. So this is the base, it looks really good and very stable and now we're going to cover this base with grey tool that I've bought in different shades, trying to create like a gradient. It should look very stormy but also very very elegant.
Okay, this is it for now, I think. This is where I've ended up with the gradient and with the dress. And you know, it looks really, really, really good to me. I will still decorate it a little bit later. But right now, let's make a stormy cloud hat because it requires a very similar technique with a plastic bottle and a bunch of gray tulle. And it looks very fluffy, very stormy, absolutely beautiful. Now the front of the cloud I want to decorate with silver chains to make sort of an imitation of a rain. This is the hat, I think. Check it out, guys. It looks really fun and it will look really beautiful on the doll. But for now, let's go back to the dress for a second and let's decorate it with all kinds of objects that were kind of pulled into the hurricane. And the objects I'm going to print using my 3D printer. So here I've got a bunch of trees, cars, cats, dogs, fences, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. And now I'm going to attach them to the dress using epoxy resin.
So this is the final placement and you know guys I've decided to keep the objects black because I want to keep this look quite achromatic with just her eyes and her hair being the color accents. But I still want to dry brush all these 3D printed things with the silver paints. I think it will make them a little bit more interesting. And this is the finished dress guys, I don't know, I think it looks super cool. You can see I've also added the chains to her neck because it makes the look more finished and it also connects the dress and the cloud hat more together. So I'm really really happy about it. Right now let's probably style her hair and also install the hat. And for the hair I want to make a bun on top of the hat. It will help holding the hat on place. And then the rest of the hair I want to keep very straight and sleek, kind of, I don't know, reminiscent of the rain running down. Maybe not the most elegant bun, but it's strong and it will be a good base for the huge cloud hat. And this is what we've got. Super cute, super original, with all these chains, absolutely adorable. So and now I just need to attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, and here is finally my finished hurricane doll and you know this is probably my favorite rainbow high makeover so far. First of all, I'm really happy with the way her eyes turned out this time and you know I think I will stick with this method for a while because I really like this end result much more than when I experimented with the 3D eyes. I feel like she looks a lot like Blythe dolls you know, kind of a little bit dark, but very cute and girlish and cartoonish at the same time, but still dark again one more time. This result really makes me want to get out another giant rainbow high doll out of my stock and try this method of making eyes on a huge doll as well. I think it will look absolutely gorgeous. And what do you think, guys? Which method of making eyes for rainbow high dolls is your favorite so far? Please let me know in the comments and also what do you think about this idea of making dolls inspired by different weather conditions. So also let me know in the comments. Or if you have other good ideas for future dolls, you can also let them down in the comment sections. Who knows, maybe I will pick it the next time. Maybe your idea will be my next doll. So, and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for three days. So please check it out if you like her. 
So and that was my doll transformation of the week guys I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you very soon in my new doll repaint video normally in two weeks because I'm working on another bigger project right now so I might have a little bit more time so, and that was it for today. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.